Hey Cancer, I hope you're well. This is going to be your general uh, reading for the next three days. Any information you need, you can find it down in the description box. I do have personals open. This is a holiday special. It's going on until December 20th. All that information is down below. So let's start for you here. Feels to me like you're getting off the train, okay? That's, I don't know why I'm getting it like that, but I am. It's like you've been moving in one specific direction here, and you're like, time to get off. Time to go for something new. You have the full card right here. Like, this is a card of going for something new. It's also a card of, like, youth risks. So, um, yeah, you could have made some um, risky choices here that put you in a bad position. You have the five of wands right here. So I think for some of you, that could be why you're jumping off this train here. Ace of swords, moving on to something new. Some of you, you're moving towards a past offer. Like, you're like, I'm done with the conflict. I'm going to go for this past offer. It's almost like, um, let's just go ahead and clarify. Let's start clarifying. What's going on? The Fool is Aquarian energy. Some of you could have Saturn and Leo. What's going on with the Fool? Ace of Wands. You want to make changes. You want something new here. King of Pentacles. Commitment. Stability. I think some of you... Um, committed to something in the past here. Like, you had a lot of stability in the past, and I think maybe you made a, a wrong decision or a wrong turn. Um, not necessarily, because I do feel that it's taking, it's going to take you to an even better place, an even more stable place eventually in the future. Um, you know, however, I feel like it, it caused some conflict. I'll say that. It caused some conflict. Um, you have the Six of Wands here. There are people celebrating you, supporting you in um, the changes that you're trying to make, because I feel like you're trying to get back to a space of stability here. So... Yeah, it's almost this energy of, you know, abandoning the new you here um, and moving towards the old you. It's like you want what you had or um, like where you were headed was much better. You know, that's the energy that I feel here. It's like you you hit a roadblock and it, it kept you there, you know. Um, I feel like you just kind of um, ran into the wrong person here or maybe the wrong crowd. You have the Three of Cups here. This could be community of some sort. could have been a Virgo or a Gemini involved here. Um, but, you know, I feel like you just made... Um, a, a turn that, you know, turned into that five of wands, whatever that five of wands was for you. It caused a lot of conflict though, and it made you lose sight of what you were working towards, what you were committed to. And I think you're in a space where you want a fresh start here. You're trying to get back to that stability, okay? What's going on with the five of wands? What's going on with the five of wands for Cancer next three days? There could be an argument that breaks out here somebody who's stuck, um, or you might feel stuck. There could be somebody in, like they feel like they're trapped. Not sure if they're in a commitment of some sort. You could be a mother, or this person could be a mother. We have the Empress here. I'm not only reading for females, but um, The Empress represents a uh, mother in the tarot sometimes, okay? Also just a very nurturing, giving energy. And you know, Cancer, I feel like you're just kind of in between spaces right now. Um, you're like in between worlds in a sense. Um, and I think there could be an argument that breaks out between you and a water sign or a fire sign. So uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I've got Taurus and Libra here. So, um, yeah, but somebody could have their moon in Libra, but, uh, with the two of swords, eight of swords, uh, you know, hangman energy, it's like you are just feeling very trapped on some level. I think that's why the five of wands is here. You may be feeling a little bit attacked by these energies, like you're doing what you can to move forward. You're doing what you can, um, for growth, for change. So, um, you know, I hope that that goes well. I think really focusing on why you were doing something in the first place, like why you, why you had the desire to be committed to this stable path to begin with. So that's something that you want to look back on here. That's going to allow you to recommit um, and really see yourself on the other side of this issue, okay? You have the Ace of Swords right here as well. So we're going to see what's going on with this Ace of Swords. Because I feel like you're very much in between. You're like, well, I've got to let go of, of who I am right now, but who will I be going forward? It's like, well, think about who you were before, before all of this, you know? So I think some of you, you've really just ran into the wrong person or the wrong um, group of people, you know? And they've caused a real shakeup in you. I think you've encountered some real demons on earth here, Cancer. And it's just time, you know, to leave those behind, okay? It's time to just <laughs> wipe them clean from your memory here. So what's going on with that Ace of Swords? Two of Cups, 
Nine of Wands. So they could have their Moon in Sagittarius here. I've got Libra Energy with the Justice card. Six of Pentacles. People are giving you support here. Like they're supporting you in your healing journey here. Good. Nine of Wands is also Wounded Warrior Energy. Like I feel like you are just very hurt by a person. Some of you, it's like you've been wrapped up in a toxic connection and people are like, move on, please. Like, please, you were doing so well and you ran into this person and... You, you know, you quit school or you quit, uh, you gave up on that dream. You know, whatever it was that happened to you here, like you, you stopped doing um, the things that you were working towards. You stopped working towards them, okay? The things that you were committed to, you were no longer committed to them. It was all about this person here. Like you literally dealt with the demon. Um, man. And that's what that Nine of Wands energy is. Like there was an exchange that took place here. And it's like... I think you just got wrapped up in the wrong crowd, unfortunately. But I do think there is a supportive energy here. Like like I said, somebody supportive of your healing. They want you to know that, okay? With a justice card, like they, they want you to be free. Like they want they want you to have the liberation that you deserve from this. So this could be that person that you dealt with. This could be the person who put you through all that hurt for all we know, right? Um, but there is somebody here who's supporting your healing. They're trying to heal themselves. So this could definitely be a, a toxic connection where the two of you kind of just exchanged um, your bad energies with one another, okay? You just kind of, they kind of enmeshed and it's just a mess now. You know, it's uh, caused you to just, both of you to just really lose sight of things. And I think you're both trying to get back to a good place here. I think a lot of support is coming in. This could be financial support for some of you, but mainly feels like support in your emotional healing. Um, people just trying to keep you out of those bad energies, bad spaces, observing you, evaluating you, making sure you're good, um, offering you that support, um, uplifting you. And, you know, I think that it's, it's a good thing to accept these um, to accept these helping hands here. You know, it's not that uh, you're dependent on them or that you're going to need them forever, but it's just, it's that time for you. It's how this feels to me. It's time for you to allow people to help you, allow them to support and uplift you in your healing journey um, because you would do the same for them, right? I hope you would. Uh, but that's what I'm saying here for you, Cancer. I hope that you'll watch out for your other signs. And if this is where we part, thank you for watching and supporting me and you enjoy your next three days. Bye.